welcome you to Oxford, Mississippi. This afternoon, number 20, South Carolina. And the Ole Miss Rebels from the SJB Pavilion, and the stakes are high. This is a good South Carolina defense that gives up a lob and a dunk to start things off. Advantage of is get in the offensive glass. Try to get you extra possessions. Another block there for Ole Miss. Ahead to Flanagan, lays it off the glass and in. Not a lot of players are going to be able to finish that. Flanagan from the free throw line gets it to fall. And that's where Al was money in their first meeting, getting right to that five guys outside. Nobody in the paint clogging it up. Juju Murray with a steal. Pick that pass off. Flanagan attacks and finishes with the left hand. That's A.J. Mack, open three, dead center. That's his 41st made three of the year. Cisse off the wraparound pass. What a feed by Murray. Talon Cooper working against Nunez. Has it blocked by Cisse out of bounds. Two different actions there, hoping for the same result. Flanagan with shot clock winding down, makes the jumper. He's going to get that shot all night, right? We know he can do that. Cuts it to 14, Talon Cooper on the drive, off the glass. Got a lot of work to do after having foul trouble in the first half. Matthew, Matthew Morrell played only four minutes in the first half. They get it to Musa Cisse for the dunk of the first four out. Flanagan, crossover, finds some space, knocks down the 17-footer, and he's fouled on the shot. That's a shot he can get anytime he wants. Cooper. Finds some space just inside the free throw line, and he gets a friendly roll. Jacoby Wright, three is good from the wing, just in front of the South Carolina bench. Brakefield has it tipped, nearly a steal there for Murray Boyles. Gets into the lane, tries to dump it off. He does Cisse. He's got 13 points, a new season high for Morrell. Brakefield going to try a three, and Ole Miss finally gets a three to go. And you know, the referee's doing a good job of letting them play through that. Brandon Murray knocks out a three. And you see now that zone with Zachary Davis up top, man. It's tough to see over that length and get a shot off over that length. Brandon Murray from the corner. And then we'll wrap up the day with Mississippi State and LSU on the SEC Network. Chris Beard's already at the half court stripe. It has been for a few seconds, ready to shake Lamont Paris's hand. They're going to let the time run out. As South Carolina gets a win on the road, they pick up their 10th win of the season in SEC play and move to 22-5 and overall.